Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have something very fun planned for the evening. I am actually going to be heading to my friend Christy's place. She is hosting a girls night, gingerbread house building, and cookie decorating event. We're all coming over with our pre-made, pre-cut out gingerbread houses and um, we're gonna have some fun. So I'm really excited about that. Totally up my alley, love getting creative. I have never actually decorated a gingerbread house before or built one. I hear it takes a lot of patience, so I'm super excited about that part. I will be meeting up with a couple of my other girlfriends there. They are so funny, they make me laugh so much. So uh, yeah, here we go. I got you on my mind. You can restart your life at age 10 with all the knowledge you have now, okay? Or take the red pill, jump to 45 years old with $50 million in a bank. Which pill would you take? I haven't had $50, $50 million. $50 million? Hell yeah! Uh, red pill. So you're red, red pill. pill. You're red with all the knowledge now, and you can get more than $50 million. What? That's the thing by the time I was 15. But even if you go back to yeah. age 10, it doesn't mean Don't tell me like I could be anything I want to be because that ain't true. Like I'm trying to be a lawyer, a, a doctor. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got home from work. I actually got off a little bit early, so I am going to go to the gym. I had originally planned on going to the park with my friend, but it is way too cold outside. We had planned on jogging and doing hill sprints, but it's just not gonna happen. Um, it's very uncomfortable. So I'm gonna go to the gym, and I think I'm gonna do back today. As far as cardio goes though, I have been wanting to switch up cardio for a while now. I will normally rotate between like cycling, uh, the stepper, stair master, and the elliptical like throughout the week before I do my lifts. But I have been really interested in doing some HIIT workouts because I know that that really gets your metabolism and your heartbeat going. So that is goals. Um, I've been looking up some different HIIT routines on YouTube and what I think I'm going to do is just compile a list of my favorite movements and then try to um, hit anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes of um, my HIIT workout. So I will record that for you guys, see what I come up with, and then um, I'm gonna be doing back. So without any further ado, let's go to the gym. All right guys, so I'm gonna start out my HIIT routine with a warm up that includes six exercises that are each 30 seconds long. For my first movement, I just did some side steps with an arm cross wing. Just cross your arms at your chest and as your feet step side to side, 
keep those arms moving. After 30 seconds, we went right into a high knee march. You wanna start out slow, then as you warm up, speed up the movement. So next, I just did some circle squats. I start out with my feet just a little wider than shoulder width apart. You lean and squat to either your left or right side and follow the movement through to complete a full circle. I did 15 seconds going left and then 15 seconds to the right. Next, I'm just gonna shuffle in place for 30 seconds. This is actually gonna be my go-to movement during the 10 second downtime between each round of my HIIT workout. Um, I will be doing this in order to keep my heart rate up between um, exercises. Keeping the same pace as my shuffle, I continued on with some up and outs. Bring your knee up, foot goes back down, bring that same knee up and out to the side, then switch to the opposite leg. You wanna make sure that you're getting that hop in between each knee up. For my last warm-up movement, I kept it simple and just did your standard jumping jacks. When doing these, I always make sure to keep my arms as straight as possible without bending my elbows. So now that the warm-up is complete, I'll just jump right into the actual workout. The session includes a total of 12 exercises. I did two rounds for each movement, going for 20 seconds per round, with a 10 second downtime shuffle between all of my rounds. For the first exercise, I'm just gonna do some pop squats. Jump up, landing back down in the squatting position, and repeat for 20 seconds afterwards. Don't forget, we're gonna do two rounds of these. So after completing my second round of pop squats, I went back into my 10 second shuffle and moved right into high knees. I placed my hands out, palms downward in front of me, and tried to touch knees to palms. Next, I did some walk downs with push-ups. The push-up portion of this exercise is completely optional. If you don't want to do push-ups, then the best alternative would just be to stay in the planking position before doing the walk back up with your arms. So after completing my two rounds of the walk down and 10 second shuffle afterwards, I went right into my burpees. In the standing position, hop down and kick your legs out to get into the planking position. Then hop back up to complete one full burpee. The last jump while in the standing position is completely optional as well. So moving right along, my next movement is going to be lateral jumps. Starting out at one side, bring one foot behind the other, jump sideways as far as possible, then cross the opposite leg behind the foot you just landed on. Make sure to stay low throughout this entire exercise. All right guys, so the sixth exercise is going to be star jumps, and in my opinion, these are probably the most difficult out of all of the exercises in this routine. You basically start out in a crouching or squatting position and jump up while extending both arms and legs. Try to make it a goal to explode out of this position as powerful as possible. So continuing on to my next exercise, I'm gonna be doing some planks to push-ups. Starting out with both hands on the ground and arms extended, I bring one forearm down at a time to get into the planking position. Come back up by switching the weight from your forearms back to your hands and do this two rounds, 20 seconds each round. Next, I did jumping lunges. With these, I try to get a hop big enough that will allow me to switch legs in between lunges so that my movement is consistent and flows easily. Okay, so movement number 10 is a high knee jump. 
I like to keep my hands with palms facing downward at my hips. Using both of my legs, I jump up and try as best as I can to get both of my knees to touch my palms. To make this movement a little easier, I do a small little hop between each large jump. Starting out in the push-up position, bring one knee to your chest, then extend your leg back down. Switch legs and bring the opposite knee to chest. You want to repeat this for 20 seconds and do this for a total of two rounds. You want to be sure to try to keep your elbows and back straight during this exercise. All right guys, last movement. We're gonna finish up with some squat jacks. With your knees slightly bent throughout this entire exercise, simply jump up and down while bringing your legs out and then back together again. If you complete all movements of this hit routine, you'll get about mm, 15 minutes of cardio, which is not bad at all. Try it out and let me know what you think. I started out my back day by doing an assisted pull-up circuit. The circuit was actually featured on my first back day video that I ever posted on this channel. I'm going to be doing a total of four rounds that include wide grip pull-ups, tricep dips, and closed grip pull-ups. Like I've previously stated before, when doing back exercises, I always make sure that I'm squeezing my back while my muscles are contracted and then I'm slowly releasing back into resting position. Next were some seated high rows. I did a total of four rounds of these. I started out with a weight of 45 and worked my way up to 60 pounds. Starting out on the lap pull down machine by doing just your basic lap pull downs. With the weight set to 55 pounds, I did one warm up round doing 25 reps of pull downs total. Once I completed the warm up round, I set my weight to 60, then went straight into the alternating arm lat pull downs. I actually got this idea from Whitney Simmons' YouTube channel. I just had to try it. I will link her video in the description box below. But you basically start out with a standard lat pull down and then return your arms back to the starting position. Carefully and slowly pull down one arm and then bring back to the extended position. Next, you just do the opposite arm. You wanna make sure that your movements are slow and controlled to really benefit from this exercise. So on the same machine, I'm just going to be doing some underhanded grip pull downs. Along with the pull in my lats, I also feel like this gives my forearms and biceps a good workout as well. I completed a total of 4 sets of these at 60 pounds, doing 10 to 12 reps per set. While I'm on this machine, I'm going to go ahead and knock out some straight arm pull downs. With the weight set to 32, I completed a total of 4 sets, getting anywhere between 8 to 10 reps per set. So 
So for my second to last movement, I'm doing some low rows with an underhand grip. I'm actually going to superset this with wide grip rows since this machine conveniently has both of them available. I did four sets total with the weight set to 55 pounds. All right guys, so I finished out my back day with a burnout. I decreased the weight on this machine to 40 and tried to get as many reps of low rows until failure. Even though the mission is to get as many reps as possible, you still wanna make sure that your movements are clean and that you're making the conscious effort to squeeze that back between each rep. 